Hello, and welcome to this introductory video on photons. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at some of the particle-like aspects of light. Now, in previous videos, we've established light as being a combination of oscillating electric and magnetic fields. And we saw that and interpreted that as clearly wave-like. And then we looked at some of the things that light could do as a wave. And then, of course, we've also treated it as a ray. But this time, what we're going to do is keep some of that information in the background, knowing that it's wave-like and has things like a frequency and a wavelength. And we're going to use that to sort of blend this in with some things that come out of quantum mechanics. And we'll look at reasons why we need this in other videos. But these things that come out of quantum mechanics basically end up treating light as particles. So photons are really what we mean when we are talking about particles of light. What we imagine there is that they are discrete packets of light. And really, what we mean is they're discrete packets of energy. So it should be no surprise that a photon should have energy. Normal particles have energy. And we know that light has energy because we have interpreted it as electric and magnetic fields. And certainly as waves, those things carry energy as well. But what we now have is that the amount of energy per photon of light, which has frequency f, is just E equals hf. And then, of course, since you know that the wavelength and the frequency, when multiplied, give you the speed of light, or the speed of any wave in general, um, speed of light in this case, because we are talking about light, we have that the energy is actually h times c on lambda. And h there is Planck's constant. So these particles of light, these photons, are carrying amounts of it, carrying energy, which means you can do fun things. Um, one of the cool things that this results in, aside from explaining things like the photoelectric effect, which we will look at later, aside from explaining things like the photoelectric effect, which we will look at later, is that these things um, are now emitting very particular frequencies given certain energies. And so if you think about atoms in the sense that most people picture atoms, which is electrons orbiting around the nucleus of the atom, those electrons have these very particular energy levels in which they orbit. And so there are certain energies that you can transition between. And if you have certain energies, then according to this, you get certain frequencies. And that's exactly what happens. You get discrete lines of emission from atoms once you've heated them or given them energy. And so as those things make those transitions back down into lower energy levels, they emit discrete amounts. And so the frequency must be that energy difference, delta E, divided by Planck's constant. So we've now explained, if we make this assumption, we've explained why we get nice discrete spectra. Now, less obvious is that photons actually have a momentum. And that momentum, it turns out, is dependent upon, again, the frequency or wavelength of the light. So the momentum of a photon is h on lambda, or h times f on c, again, making use of the fact that c is equal to lambda times f. So what this means for us, and in particular how we can test this, is that if we shine light on something, and that light is absorbed or reflected, then the object will have to gain this momentum, because momentum conservation still exists. And in particular, this has been tested, and it works. And it means that, for instance, one way in which you might make a spacecraft move is through something called a solar sail. So what that means is you make this shiny sail, and you let the light bounce off of it, and that will propel the spacecraft forward. Of course, your sail has to be large, and your spacecraft has to be light. You can do some calculations to think about what kind of impact or what kind of impulses you might achieve at various distances from the sun, um, given this mechanism and a certain size of the sail, to realize very quickly that it does indeed need to be a very light spacecraft. 